Welcome back to our life-changing four-week challenge. We understand that life can sometimes get in the way of our goals and plans. Procrastination can be a real hurdle, causing us to put off taking action. So today, we want to discuss the power of intention and how it can help us create a solid well-being plan. We will also delve into the concept of incorporating a contingency plan, which can be crucial for overcoming any obstacles that may arise. Additionally, we have a special treat for you, a transformative visualization and a guided meditation with a powerful mantra for success. Prepare yourself to unleash your full potential and embrace a life filled with infinite possibilities. Now let's tap into a well-being vision for our year and set some intentions to stay on track with our theme, goals for the year, and our purpose. What is intention? As Deepak Chopra said, intention is the starting point for every dream. It's the impulse or a creative power that compels you to manifest your dharma and create your life. So what came up for you when you asked the question, what do I want? Feel into that. Visualize those desires. You can even think back to our first week together and remember what came up when you thought about the question, what is your purpose? What is it that you are called to do? Now, we'll create a visualization of your future self by getting in touch with that felt sense of well-being that aligns with our purpose and intentions. So feel free to close your eyes, get comfortable, and take a few deep breaths to settle into the present moment. Visualize a specific time in life when you felt healthy, happy, full of joy, confident. This can be an entire phase of life or one specific memory. Play the experience out as clearly as you can in your mind's eye. Listen to the sounds around you in the memory, near and far off in the distance. Feel the temperature of the air on your skin. Look at the objects around you in the mind's eye and the range of colors. Notice if there is any taste in your mouth. Become aware of any scents in the air that you remember smelling. What were you doing? Who were you with? Recall the feelings you're experiencing. What words are coming to mind? What are the feelings in the body associated with those words? Now, I invite you to release the words or labels. Just sit with the felt sense you're experiencing in the body. Allow yourself to feel the energy beyond whatever words, thoughts, or images describe this experience. Just stay with the feelings. Allow them to wash over you. Be playful with this and understand that you have plenty of time to refine your vision. Now take that same feeling or sensation and move it into the future where you would like to feel this feeling of well-being a year from now. How does it feel when you apply this sensation to this future moment? What is bringing you joy? What are your relationships like? this energy move through you. As you bask in that sensation, just allow yourself to feel these feelings of already having achieved your intentions with all of your senses. Engage your senses and emotions to make the mental image as visual, as vivid and visual as possible. What would be possible in your life if you felt this way every day? What could you start doing now that might lead to this felt sense of well-being? Now go ahead and write down a little summary of what that felt like for you. Just jot, just jot down a few notes of those words and sensations that you'd like to have in the future. And feel free to pause this video to do this exercise. Now that you have captured your well-being vision, we'll go through the wheel of life. And the wheel has eight components. One is romance, 
two, physical environment. Three, finances. Four, spiritual and personal growth. Five, health. Six, family and friends. Seven, career. Eight, fun and recreation. So think about these areas and where you are in terms of satisfaction in each area and decide where you'd like to see improvements. Just choose two or three areas of the wheel that you feel like you would like to improve based on your well-being vision you just visualized. Feel free to pause the video again and just jot down these two or three areas you'd like to focus on. For me, I chose to focus on romance, family and friends, and finances, and how I wanted to move those up a few notches. And I came up with a few goals to match up with these desires. One, I will set dates on my calendar to connect with my spouse. Two, I wanna feel more supported and loved by my family and friends. Three, I wanna wake up feeling motivated to increase my finances. So as you phrase your intentions, make sure you do so in a positive manner. Use affirmations that focus on what you want to attract rather than what you want to avoid. Just like Lelania guided last week, your affirmations can be things like, I accept myself just as I am right now. I'm excited to find out where I can grow. Now think about your areas to improve and write down goals that align with each area. Again, feel free to pause the video to do this. Next, you'll want to take concrete steps towards your goals. Intention setting is not solely about manifestation. It involves actively working toward what you want. So write down some daily practices or small actions to help you achieve these goals. My examples would be create a weekly date night with my spouse so we can connect. Set a time each week to reach out to family and friends or write letters. Go to bed early with a game plan for the next day to increase my finances. Use that pause button again to give yourself time for this. Finally, think about potential challenges and what you'll do to overcome them. Think back to last week with Lelania and your plan to let go of your blocks and limiting beliefs to come into wholeness. Meditate on acceptance and create a few if and then statements. For example, if this internal or external challenge arises, like if there's a schedule change so we can't go on our date, then we will prioritize our date on the next day. Or if I stay up too late and don't wake up feeling motivated, then I will use my purpose statement or a special power I identified to move past this with playfulness and curiosity. Again, feel free to pause the video to write these if-then statements. Manifesting our intentions is all about co-creation with the universe. Co-creation is a process where you set an intention and take disciplined action to the best of your ability, but you also stay present to what the universe delivers on your behalf. One of the last steps is letting go. Release your attachment to a specific outcome. Trust the process and remain open to possibilities by adding phrases like this or something even better to allow that space for the universe to create magic beyond our wildest dreams. Now set up a consistent practice where you regularly revisit and reaffirm your intentions. Consistent practice keeps your focus sharp and reinforces your commitment. Express gratitude for what you already have. You can do this daily and make it a practice by journaling three to five things you're grateful for every morning or every evening. Gratitude enhances a positive mindset and aligns your energy with abundance. So be on the lookout for synchronicities and track them as they come up, as these are signs from the universe that you're moving in the right direction. In essence, intention setting combines clear goal setting, positive affirmations, visualization, and proactive steps with an open and trusting mindset. This holistic approach engages both the conscious and subconscious mind to bring about positive changes in one's life. So as you go about accomplishing your goals, remember this quote from the wise teacher Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us and feel free to reach out to myself Jas or Lelania if you are ever in need of support along the way. Namaste.